Well, um, thank you, Jason. And thank you, everyone, for offering this fabulous opportunities for being here. Uh, my name is Yan. I'm from Novartis Technology. And today we are, I'm going to talk about the necessity of a ROV for underwater inspections. Before it all begins, we need to understand what is an ROV. It stands for Remotely Operated Vehicle or Underwater Drones. This might be a name that is uh, more well known by people. And to be more specific, uh, ROVs are highly maneuverable underwater robotics. They can be used to explore ocean while be operated by someone at the water surface. Our latest product, Navatics Mito, um, designed for recreational use. It will dive down to 40 meters deep and while carrying a 4K camera design, users can operate it with a range at 500 meters away. One of the major abilities is to help the owners to have full visual access of the, what's actually going on under the water. Knowing the fact that 70% of the land are covered by water, and so whatever fresh water and a big amount of underwater works will be built in it. Well, for agriculture, oil, gas, transportation, etc. And while our ways to check the underwater assets are very limited, typically we can grab a tank to dive in or being creative and practical, attach a GoPro to a long stick to check the bottom of the boat. And sometimes we may need to send professional divers to investigate a deeper area. But no matter what ways we chose, one thing that we are sure of, we need uh, close visual access under the water for detailed inspections. Then how does the RV play its role in the underwater inspections? Well, indeed, that we live in an advanced generation, robots are able to do a lot of things that are not necessary or sometimes capable for human beings to do. Also recognize the value that commercial divers bring to the projects. However, we are also well aware of the limitation and the risk associated with the deploying divers in conditions where access, visibility, and depth compromises safety and investigate quality. ROVs can help the inspections by reaching to corners and gulfs that provide visual feedbacks of lively environment. Generally, visual feedbacks will be recorded by highly resolution videos. Photos are possibly 3D modeling with additional data detected. This type of info, uh, inspection is typically used for inspection wield, corrosions, and cracking, not a, a daily inspection, but very efficient. Also, the live stream video of the ongoing underwater maintenance provides a direct visual access to the specialties on the surface. Double ensure the deep works that are, that are taken care of. Engineers and technicians can review the footage as often as required afterwards. Re regularly, Inspections in aquaculture industry, for example, is an overview inspections to determine the general condition on a daily basis. This kind of inspection will identify the net damage, farm growth, and major anomalies by just photos and videos. When the camera eye captures footage and located the anomalies, robot, robotic, uh, claws or grippers can easily grab it out. Another practical feature such as the temperature, PhD value also provides information that is vital for farming investigation. Frequently monitoring of the asset without the limitation of time or water condition or weather to avoid potential damage, therefore reduce the future price repairs. With a combination of human and RV, the inspection and prevention progress become much more viable 
DiveWorks can provide with safe, economical, accurate, and more detailed solutions. So I believe we've had a, a brief idea of, of how RRV works during the inspection process. And so what are the irresistible benefits? The most obvious advantage of using it, quick deployment, fast movement. RVs are designed for actions whenever and wherever, especially under the emergency situations. Navatics Mito, for example, takes a few seconds to be deployed and is able to move up to four knots in the water. Usually one single battery can support um, two to four hours performance with the uh, extra batteries on board. Well, you can use it as long as you need. Despite the fact that deploying another greatest uh, advantages of using RV in a mission is definitely saving money. Compared to millions of dollar submarines, uh, gen for general visual inspections, non-expensive RVs is great for most of the underwater duties, like the exploring narrow places and navigate complex structures. And having a dive team, a professional commercial dive team, to perform such a regular and ongoing inspections can be expensive. With consists of two to three divers, uh, commercial divers, standby divers, and a supervisor, let alone the, for the emergency inspections when the situation is yet to be detected. Not only cost more money, but also may danger the whole dive team. RVs could provide a safe alternative to explore the such dangerous areas. Prior to divers, it could bring back uh, general visual records of the real situation happening in the water. Based on the information it provides, divers can quickly come up with a safer solution and much more effective ways. For future plan, um, ROVs, especially on the water ROVs, will become the mainstream tool to explore the ocean. Compared to the professional, but but expensive inspection device that could easily cost millions of dollars. Um, Navatics meter better suits both personal creation you know, use and general visual inspections with much more affordable price. And for future underwater ROVs, um, the function will be more versatile, like fast maintenance down by your underwater ROVs is a possible future scene as it already happening on some of the more professional ones. And we need to admit the growing, the strong growing potential of the underwater RVs as I strongly believe that we will be the mainstream of the future markets. Thank you. Well, that would be my, um, all of my presentations, but I, um, I think I have prepared a video for the our products, but but I but something went wrong and I couldn't play it, share the screen with you all. So please go to our booth. It's called Navatics there, and this is our Navatics middle of the row. So if uh, check our booth, it's called Navatics. And you can uh, you can see a, a cool commercial uh, video about introducing the our product meetup, and also you can still chat with me, and I'll be there answering all your questions. So, yeah, check it out. Mm -hmm.